Well, good afternoon, everybody. It is uh, terrific to have you along for our live coverage of this uh, eagerly awaited contest. It should provide some terrific entertainment on uh, what is turning into a rather imperfect afternoon. The weathermen really get it wrong, and uh, they have warned us that there is rain on its way. Shouldn't be bad enough in any sense meaningfully to impact on the game of football, but it is a factor to be taken into consideration. Plenty of other factors, of course, principally each side's concern for the strengths of the other. Certainly this is a very, very impressive venue, quite a sight to behold. Anderlecht have chosen to go 4-3-3. Jim, how do you see it? Well, a system promoted by the rise of total football, Peter. The wider players in the front three are, are key operators in how it all works on and off the ball. They have to provide for the central striker, of course, and protect their fullbacks, so they'll get few breathers. If these two don't make a good impression, there are quite good replacements on the bench. And we're underway. Drives it towards the front. Amat cuts it out. Adriano drives it forward. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. And it's played forward. A long ball, but not especially accurate. Over to the left. Yeah, he's fouled him there. loose who's getting there well they would seem to be trying to expose the center of that defense to to runners thanks for some terrific movement it does, and they may be hit on the break because obviously it requires numbers forward to to stretch them out. Adriano. He's got options out wide. Oh, that's nice. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. Hit into the middle. Cleared away. Adriano. Plays it out to the flank. If you have just joined us, well, you've missed no goals. Forward it goes. And that'll go straight through to the keeper. He's a clever pass. Has a goal! Big relief, it just needed better contact. That was good defensive pressure to give him less manoeuvring room. Adriano hoists it forward. quickly he's through shapes to shoot goal Anderlecht. oh that 
was a cracking little exchange to set up the finish and a lovely understanding between both players. I mean, that's clearly tailored on the training ground and delivered beautifully on match day. Select. Break the deadlock. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. Rain starting to fall here. It has been looking that way for a little while. Oh, shooting chance! Oh, that's a fine save! Oh, that's a sparkling save, absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. run he's making on the right and the left of a free kick and he is going into that little black book So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but Rutherford still had its moments and ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Well, that certainly pleased the fans, and the players are definitely happy with that scoreline. The question is now, can they protect it? Anderlecht come off having scored the only goal of the game so far. It's been tight, it's been exciting, and there is certainly plenty for us to chew on during the break. Gets things going for the second half. Anderlecht carrying a one-goal lead. It's a great gallop down the right-hand side. Tries to locate someone up front. Amat does well to read it and intercepts. Amat drives it forward. And now they can launch a counter. Oh, super tackle. They were outnumbered and under the cosh. That had to be spot on, and it was. Whipped in. Diving header! Cleared without complication. it back out to the right looking to break out here forward it goes Trout calling for him to shoot oh, it's a fine challenge and it goes his way well it's good stuff this is better well this isn't the time to talk about risks now Jim is it they just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break 
Spot on, Peter. Coached through there. This could spell to and the finish! Really well taken goal. Two up now, and they are cruising. That was easy, almost too easy. Yeah, and all engineered, Peter, by some smart running and movement. That's already something to admire, but how about the pass? Just wonderful, loved it. Andelect to have a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. Well, that second goal has given so much more command and confidence now, and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. Hoists it forward. Floats one over. Defending of the desperate variety. Going for goal! Very speculative with little threat, if any, for the keeper. And it's played forward. And it's put a stop. Done very well to intervene. Battles to win it back. Ahead by two, and just about into the home straight. And he's there to clear it. Fired it, towering header! Oh, he's managed to miss it. Well, they're definitely going about things the right way, Peter. A goal soon can, can bolster energy levels now. So here comes the substitution. It's going to be a double change then. Forward it goes. Nicely measured pass. Shot a goal! Back of the net! And what a climax we have here! The understanding between those two plays a big part in that, and releasing the run on side proved the key ingredient. And when the manager called on him, he was only too happy to repay that fate. Well, the instruction from the manager would have been, go on and make yourself a nuisance and see if you can snatch a goal. Mission accomplished. Oipen give themselves a chance of a fairy tale finish. It is just a question of running down the clock now. Tries to get it forward quickly. Lovely bit of skill. Shoots! Close, but time for no more. The whistle has gone. And whatever the shortcomings on either side, it was a great game to watch. Just one between them. Your reflections then, Jim. Well, they approached this with a very definite...